Hello, Steve is welcome to the garage again. Now I have done a video on this Kiriakin bag before because this was my first video and it was awful, but people still watch it. So I don't know the specs on this bag right now, but I will open it up and show it to you. Uh, let's take the this flap thing off. Let's take this all the way off. We'll put it back on after a little bit. Make that last. Now these uh, these zips actually have the rubber the rubber around them. So. But let's open this main compartment up. Now the reason I bought this bag was because I went from an Ultra to my Road King and I wanted something that I could use as like the tour pack because Amy was still riding with me at the time. She didn't have her own. Um, so I wanted something like this. You can fit a full face helmet in this. So you can fit a full face helmet in this pretty easy. Could probably even put half helmet in there with it. Hat flashlight a GoPro thing so this can fit a lot of stuff and you can see it still has I mean that's the width of my hand in room yet plus it has all these compartments in the side right there and right there and a deal back here for a laptop and you can put a iPad in this one pretty easy and then your phone in this one and whatever else you want in this one This is like a neoprene. So this bag is you know I got it because I wanted something as big as the tour pack and this is actually bigger than the tour pack um, as far as Cubic inches go It's not waterproof. It has a waterproof liner But these open on the side that's got the instructions in it and this has got all the all the things to clip everything in here to strap it down um, this actually has another little zipped net compartment there and another compartment here and another <laughs> compartment here and a deal to hold your keys there See, I always put the zipper I'm always afraid of the positions between the two zippers leaking so I just kind of put them in the front where they'll be out of the way this one also opens obviously this is the rain cover another pouch there and another net pouch there and another pouch right there wait there's more there's another one here and this these are extremely big. I put my whole hand in there. So that's going to fit your your iPhone or if you're green, an Android phone. Got one of them on this side too. Same thing, same size. His and her phones, I guess, on one side or the other. And it has these great big buckles. I don't know if these are metal that are wrapped in plastic, but I mean, you're not going to... These aren't gonna come off, right? And they're riveted in. And it's got all these on the back. Two here, the two here, two here, and the one on this side, and the two, well, I guess the two on this side yet. So, yeah, this bag is plenty big. Now, this bag would go here on the bike. Like so. And we're gonna strap this down. I've never strapped it down on the seat before. Um, but, I mean, it's not like it can't be done, right? I and mean, we can figure this out, don't we? Now these, if you drop, you're gonna, you're gonna scratch your paint or you're gonna dent something, so be careful. Be careful. Please be careful. Ooh, just like that. Whew. Good load. Okay, see, that doesn't make any sense. I just went the wrong way. So let's just turn this over. Because this part really doesn't matter, but I want them to be straight. So let's do that like that. And we'll take this and we'll run it up through here. And oh yeah. 
that's gonna be just like tank straps almost only it's cam buckle and not ratchet straps but run that up through there run that down oh yeah so we'll just get this a little bit tight and then we'll find the other one of those and i'm willing to bet you guys that when we get done with just these two this bag will almost hold itself on and there we go tighten up tighten that puppy up now like that i'm willing to bet that this is going to be good enough um put that on put that on and two straps guys look at that. two straps tell me that bag's gonna go somewhere which if we're still worried about it okay we'll we'll fix it i can't figure out the volume hello miss stevie hi hi are you live no i'm not okay good look we're putting bags on okay i'm on with people are you yeah are you live this is staying in this video. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Um, I can't figure out how to turn up your well, volume. Let's go up and turn up the volume. Working. Okay, so where were we? Okay, so we were gonna try to figure out how to put more straps on. So I got my clip on there, and let's say we wanted to go around something like the passenger support or the passenger foot peg here. So we just go around there that up there I don't even know if this will reach it might not oh it might and then we'll clip here now you've got one pulling the opposite direction which is actually not a bad idea have one pull the opposite direction the bag wasn't going anywhere before it ain't going anywhere now right and look at these these buckles these buckles are still not pulling out any So now your bag is connected in the front and in the back. So you've got two forces pulling opposite of each other. Let's say we're gonna put this on, and this is actually a neat, a neat, neat deal. So you put this on, it's got its own buckles for it and everything, and it, it adds another, it adds another whole, a pocket also. Those are to pull the straps tight. It has this big pocket up here, which has a bungee cord in it right now, but it also has a net pocket. And this would be good for like sunscreen or something like that, I suppose. And this buckles in the front right here. Now the purpose of this, what I'm told, and the way I understand it, is, so let's say I've got my mesh jacket here and it got hot out and I don't want to put it anywhere else. so. I'm gonna take this and I'll buckle it right here, right here. I'm gonna flap that over. I'm gonna set this on top. I'm gonna move this. Or if you just got done in the rain and you needed somewhere to put your raincoat and your rain gear to dry out, well, just shove it up in here. You don't even have to roll it up. I'm gonna get our rain cover out. Now this is like a this is pretty heavy duty type of rain cover, right? I mean, it's got your rubberish stuff on the inside I don't know if there's a right or wrong way so we're just gonna put it on here and our back bag we don't have to worry about it right because it's it's rubber so that's already waterproof now I'm gonna put it I'm gonna kind of figure out how this goes on here our straps in between there and we're pulling down from each side too, right? So we don't have to worry about getting any straps caught inside of our deal. So I think we're straight there. So we've got two of these deals to pull tight. And there's one on this side also. So yeah, that's on there now. Pull that open, drop it in there, put it there in the side pocket, and then you still got this one. Okay, so I never really thought of that. But if you open the bag, your side bag, that's where everything's connected to, right? 
You see that? They loosened the bag. They loosened up the whole bag. So, I tighten it up. Yeah, that's a lot of strain. I mean, you almost need to... You loosen that to zip it back up. So I never thought of that. So this, this clip here is a no-go. Well, then I would just maybe take this one and hook it there and run this down under here and just under here and then just into here. All right, so now same thing, hold under here, push down right here. You can see your bag pull down and we'd put our excess back into this one too. But then when you get to where you're going, I mean, it's just as simple as unhooking this and then just done pull it through this side. You're finally there, you just rode 800 miles for the day. I would just open up a bag. I'd just start shoving stuff in there. That cam buckle, you just push, you just push on these. Now remember, this one will hurt the paint, so just hold on to it. Then in there with the others, but then you pull this off, boom, now you're done with that, right? That is the Road King all toured out. So everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road. <laughs>